Welcome to Expat Views on ADR Eva, a podcast about simplifying the traditional African method of settling disputes or the appropriate dispute resolution ADR in a bid to attract more users to settle their disputes or conflicts with mediation, arbitration, collaborative law, restorative justice, negotiation, conciliation, and of course, early neutral evaluation. My name is Chiwa Ebonike, a postdoctoral fellow at the University of Brighton, United Kingdom, and the fellow of the American Bar Association section of this Bull Resolution Mediation Committee. I am pleased to welcome Mohamed Radwan Al Omar to the EVA show. He is the president of the Lebanese Assembly for Inclusive Development, founder and previous coordinator of the Together We Build Alliance of the Lebanese Youth Parliament. Omar is the head of the membership committee and the previous head of the outreach and fundraising committee at Lebanon National Committee of the World Health Alliance. He is also the policy vice chair of the Middle East Committee, International Law Section, and a fellow of the section of dispute resolution, International Committee, and the head of outreach subcommittee at the American Bar Association. He is an arbitrator at Equilibrium, Dispute Resolution in Italy, co-author of MG's um, book, A Pathway to the Future of ADR, Comparative Perspectives from Around the World. Omar wears many hats, so I've left the link to his profile below. Welcome to the show, Omar. Stop sharing. Thank you, thank you. Hello, Doctor. Oh. Hope everything is well. Oh, so far, so good. <sighs> Thank God. All right. So without further ado, um, let me go straight to the question. So question one is, um, what is ADR and has it enhanced access to justice in Lebanon? Well, uh, we all know what is uh, alternative dispute resolution, but like when we talk about Lebanon, uh, well, well, not only Lebanon today is facing international crisis. As we know, there's uh after the pandemic people started uh, appreciating what is adr while uh the state can, well, can't always be sufficient to all our needs uh well it's time for alternatives such as as you just said arbitration mediation conciliation and so on uh well in lebanon in lebanon it's it's start it's it's just at the beginning yeah it's uh it didn't uh, uh develop yet as much as at the west yeah but uh, with the judicial crisis in lebanon people are starting to move slowly to these alternatives yeah okay Okay, so not it's not as developed as um you know um ADR in the western part of the country. Okay. And so has it enhanced access to justice? Yeah, well uh first of all, yeah uh I'd like to tell you something uh I've previously mentioned a lot while uh, uh while advocating for youth. Yeah. In the past, my great grandfather was a doctor, mm -hmm. uh, well, but he was a doctor for everything. You have a pain in your stomach, your eyes uh, aren't as good as you want. Even if you feel uh, 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 a headache, you'll go to the same doctor. Yeah. Today, there's more than one doctor, even for the eye, the one that takes the uh, does the surgery, the one that there's even a doctor for for the glasses. Like there's a lot of specializations. Yeah. We, let Let's go back to our own field, yeah. dispute resolution, the legal yeah. field. Today, there's a lot of specializations, not only regarding law. There's corporate law, there's criminal law, civil, administrative. But even when we talk about ADR itself. And here I'm not just talking about arbitration, mediation, conciliation. Even when you when you go deep into like, for example, one of them, like arbitration, for example, 
today there's specific arbitrators for each and every different field. Sure. This is how specific the world is going. So when we were talking, if it's taking justice, you need the, the right people in the right place. So, okay. so as long as the specialized person is there, justice will always be served. Today, the, the main question is, is the state really specialized? And is the state or the courts of the country the right uh, the right, uh, I won't say the right person, but the right cooperation to look in all of our disputes. Is it suitable? Is it fast enough? Is it serving justice well? This is where we tend to uh, go back to ADR. Yeah. And we shouldn't say, if is it serving justice well? We should say, what, what about the comparison? Is the regular court serving justice well? This is where we go back to uh, 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 serving our own needs and all priorities, right? Yeah. And so when you talked about comparison, so when it comes to um, comparing um, the cost and time frame of settling via ADR compared to litigation, which which of them um, would you say um, is um Cheaper and saves um, more time. Yeah, well, uh, uh, there's there's the basic and the uh, uh, average answer that everyone always tells you recommends ADR. But yeah. let me tell you something more yeah. specific. Let me talk about just Lebanon because today it's not the same in all of the world. Yeah, you're uh, right. We took a lot of we took we we when ADR was still new to Lebanon. It didn't exist in our universities when we took it, took these courses and uh, experience outside Lebanon. Uh, uh, it was when it was a total different perspective while applying them in the same country. So we can't compare. But let me tell you this: that, uh, for example, I've worked in several fields. Let me talk about corporate. Yeah. When we write, when we for example, the shareholders agreement, we always we always uh, have to have a, an article taking you to arbitration. But when we write an NDA, non-disclosure agreement, which is much close smaller, we never put uh, arbitration. This is now the, for all of the law students out there, the, the, anyone who would like to work in corporate, this is a free advice to you. Thank you. <laughs> where we, where, where, well, not not all contracts uh, uh, are suitable with ADR. Some contracts, like the NDA non disclosure agreement, or the uh, uh, confidentiality agreement, as we say, yeah. we always uh, recommend uh, having the national courts of the country, because sometimes, uh, well, it could be faster sometimes, and it could be slower, right? Okay. I had a case. Uh, I had this a case in front of the Lebanese courts, where, uh, by the way, it, it's it's a case that was brought to me by the legal aid of the bar here in Tripoli, Lebanon. Uh, so it's totally free. It's the drug dealing case, okay. uh, and uh, I was supposed to get this person out like in one week with all the the work I've done, but because of the corruption and because of the uh, strikes and protests regarding the judicial system, this person has been like now in jail for month, several months now. Mm -hmm. I know the case when you talk about drugs, it is something severe and yeah. actually need more time in jail. <laughs> but like I'm just giving you a small example in, in which like uh, uh, here the barrier was the system itself, the judicial okay. system itself. So when comparing to time, it's not always accurate. We know mm -hmm. arbitration is faster because we control it. All of these procedures do not exist. All of these are uh, complicated procedures. Mm -hmm. But sometimes we, we, we do need them to uh, force some procedures on the other party when it comes to criminal uh, the criminal field. 
And so how about mediation? Sorry. How about mediation? Well, I personally always recommend mediation. Mediation is my uh, uh, priority, uh, uh, is my... Uh, it, mediation should come first before everything, before even sometimes the neg negotiations. But anyways, as we just previously said, that uh, it all depends on the place and system. For example, in Turkey, yeah. let me tell you, the Turkey, a neighboring country, the courts, uh, uh, the, the legal system, the legislator have forced mediation before going to court. So it is binding by law. Well, not in Lebanon, uh, not yet. Well, the, the legislators of Le the Lebanese legislators were working on something similar, and there was several uh, legal documents that were uh, worked on, and uh, I think they are done. Okay. But when we go back to the implementation, the procedures they're still stuck. Yeah, so mediation is something I always recommend. Okay, thank you. So when it comes to um, workplace conflict, are employees aware that they can um, utilize ADR or their workplace to settle disputes or conflict? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, actually, going back to Lebanon, not all employees are aware. Okay. Uh, definitely, definitely, there's uh, the, interna the, the international companies in Lebanon, for example, in Beirut, they always had the uh, HR, which the human resources. Yeah. Uh, the HR is responsible to not only implement these procedures, but to educate the employees on what rights do they have, on what procedures and options they have uh, when there's any disputes. Like I have, I, I faced something similar several years ago where there was an excellent HR where he started our meeting with like Radwan, you know, you can tell me anything. Yeah. So Rita, this is an excellent HR. <laughs> but like we always have to show them that it's not enough just to tell you anything. We need to show them their rights and options and what they can uh uh be, without going to courts. There's yeah. other procedures we can use to which is, which is easier and faster, especially mm -hmm. when we talk about uh, uh, commercial companies, commercial life, the uh, commercial markets where speed is a necessity. Yeah. Mm -hmm. In addition to a healthy uh, uh, environmental world. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so how about discrimination and bullying and harassment? And we use um, ADR to settle... Um, discrimination and harassment or bullying in Lebanon? Uh, well, uh, 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 your question is targeting uh, companies, employees? Yes, yes, workplace. Um, yeah, uh, this is although some people would, uh, I'd like to say that this is a very important question. And uh, like some people would say that this much important top more more important topics to talk about but we have to stop uh before this question mm -hmm. to emphasize how important it is because when we talk about what you just said about bullying and the discrimination that's happening we're, we're talking about the human person we should always mm -hmm. understand that the dignity of a human person is the most precious endowment yeah okay of the human person and that uh it's inviolable so, uh, and what when we what if we talked about the working environment of this person when there's discrimination, when there's bullying, there won't be a healthy working environment. There won't there won't be uh, enough productivity for the employer. So this is why the employer should take this into consideration. While in Lebanon, it's not uh, focused on a lot. When we talk about the region, yeah, in general, the Gulf, the Gulf. You know, like, for example, Saudi Arabia, Kuwait, uh, Dubai, Emirat, this region has the, has the, uh, 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 has a lot of money, okay? So the, a lot of companies are opening there, but
but what happens is that they always they always uh, target Lebanese employees because they know how the Lebanese uh, uh, the productivity the Lebanese employees give so they always have Lebanese employees in their companies mm-hmm. and right now they they're opening of branches in Lebanon so you know the new work uh, distance working thing the remote when people work remotely yeah. they work online online okay, this yeah. is what's happening in Lebanon so uh, uh, when you look at different branches not all branches are, are taking uh, uh, equality into consideration not all branches are taking humanity and human dignity and uh, respect into consideration mm-hmm. so this is where you can see discrimination is happening in the mm-hmm. working field right? when you when you talk about uh, uh, a national person from these companies they start with uh, associate ranking associate mm-hmm. while mm-hmm. other citizens other nationalities start with with paralegal or uh, junior associates or trainees so all they, they have the same qualifications so this is some sort of discrimination and there's mm-hmm. the discrimination between the employees themselves with different rankings so there's always this are you still with me yeah yeah i'm listening can you hear Did me we lose connection a little bit but it's okay now yeah okay yeah is, is it Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, perfect, perfect. yeah, yeah. so th- so this is what when we see discrimination is actually happening a lot. This is where the HR's role play very a very important role. Important role. So I know one of the companies, one of the international companies, which has several branches and which a very strong and uh, per- the perfect HR came to this company and started reorganizing everything in which uh they saw how uh, discrimination is happening. The, so, so the role of the HR is part of ADR. Yeah, it's the it's the step that the company have to take even before going to negotiations or mediations or conciliations. Let's let's keep the courts to the end. Thank you so very much for that. And so what is the future of um, international legal research in Lebanon, particularly in ADR? Sorry, can you repeat it? Can you the repeat your question? Of the future uh, of legal research um, in Lebanon, particularly in ADR. Yeah, yeah well, uh, this is very important. Today, when we talk about the academic field, yeah. uh, for a very long time, after the bachelor's degree, the only two options you had in Lebanese universities and Lebanese academic institutions was public and private law. Mm. As I told you at the beginning of our session, today uh, there's a lot of new, different uh, fields in the legal field, in the, in the dispute resolution field. Okay. Yeah. Uh, starting from the military, uh, the, from, from starting from military and coercive uh, methods in solving disputes, until we reach uh, uh, arbitration, mediation, conciliation, and even sometimes lit- litigation and courts. So there's a lot of different uh, ways and methods to solve. Uh, Disputes. So when we talk about the future of research, uh, Lebanon is starting to enhance and uh, adopt new, uh, new. Uh, what's the word again? Uh, like new educational. Uh, um, system. Are you still with me? Yeah, yeah. New is yeah. Okay. Arabic we say manahij dirasiya. Arabic we say manahij dirasiya jadida. Okay. Uh, which is uh, new 
يا اديوكيشن الليفلز اوكي ا ريجاردنج سو ديز سو موست اوف ذيم ار تارجتنج اربيتريشن بيكوز از ا از اي بريفيسلي تولد يو ذات ان ذا ريجن ذا غالف از ذا ريجن وير ذير از ذا ماني اند ذا غالف نيدز اربيتريشن سو ذا ليبنيز اديوكيشن سيستم ازنت actually uh, providing anything for the Lebanese market anymore because the Lebanese economy is uh, below the uh, below average. This is why they see what the region wants, the region needs, and what the region is actually developing right now is arbitration. Going back to mediation, mediation is, isn't giving, isn't being given. It's a uh, uh, its rights <laughs> mediation isn't ta- being taken seriously okay. because it is a very peaceful method of solving any conflict or dispute and uh, people are going to arbitration which is an alternative to litigation yeah. and faster and uh, which is, isn't always cheaper hmm. um, yeah you're right it is faster Well, not always yeah. them cheaper okay yeah. so um thank you so very much about that so would you say um uh, okay so let me rephrase the question um is um ADL um being um studied um in schools in law school um then the universities and primary schools mm-hmm. This is a very important question. Yeah. Well, uh, a few years ago, it was not. A few years ago, study law, oh, okay. and you go to the ADR field and start experiencing and applying stuff you didn't see in university unless you studied outside Lebanon. Oh, okay. Today, they are... Uh, uh, today, the, the, the deans of law school, the law schools in Lebanon, the universities, universities and schools of Lebanon, are starting to understand how important it is that a lot of their alumni and students aren't working in what they taught them. They're working in arbitration. They're working mm. in ADR, alternative dispute resolution, in mm. Lebanon or outside Lebanon. Okay. They're knowing how important it is. This is why today they're starting with these fees. Uh, there's the maritime arbitration. There's commercial arbitration, yeah. and uh, yeah, mostly there's there are in Arabic. <laughs> if you want to talk about the locals, yeah, in, in Lebanon, yeah, but recently they're starting, yes, but mm. a few years ago it wasn't even mentioned in universities. Oh wow! wow. Yeah. So yeah. Why, so what is um the way forward for the mass advocacy of um the benefits um of utilizing ADR or using ADR? Yeah, well, right now, as I, I repeat, as I told you, because of the, uh, because of the corruption in, in Lebanon, because, because of the corruption in the state and everything that concerns the government, because of the uh, delays that are happening, because of the, in the judicial system, the judges are not coming more than once a week. Mm-hmm. Sometimes once a month, because lack of transportation, because lack of uh, of fundings, because of uh, there's a lot of issues that we won't have enough time to list them all. Yeah. Uh, well, a very close family member of mine is a judge, and uh, they're facing a lot of difficulties actually going to work. They, imagine being living in another city. Uh, th- this is, by the way, this is something that that the government implements. On the mm-hmm. local judicial system, yeah. they try to put judges from different regions. Okay. So there's, no, they, so they, the judges do not be biased. And mm-hmm. uh, in the past, when there was a lot of money in the country, this was affordable. Not anymore. Not today. Mm-hmm. So with, the, with all of the economic crisis, with all of the banking crisis, the judicial system is paused. <laughs> It is on hold. Yeah. The reason why this is the best time to advocate. For ADR, for alternative mm-hmm. dispute resolution, 
Yeah. Uh, we, we, we are uh, we are the lawyers of the Lebanese universities too, the, the local public Lebanese university, which yeah. is supposed to be there. So the Lebanese university is also taking into consideration opening a mediation center. Oh. They're starting to teach uh, arbitration and mediation. They are trying to develop their uh, academic... Uh, uh, this is the word that I, I forgot. Is it, uh, colloqu uh, is it colloquium? Colloquium. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 100%. Yeah. 100%. Thanks for having me. That's all right. Um, so what are the benefits associated with um, ADR or arbitration for... for well, as in, what are the advantages as associated with um, um, ADR? Okay, we all know the average answer. We know that everything they taught us, it's faster, it's cheaper and stuff. Yeah. I won't yeah. tell you the average answers because yeah. they, it's not always fixed. I'll tell yeah. you the benefits right now. Yeah. Uh, the Lebanese economy in my country, I'll tell you the answer according to, the, to Lebanon, to my mm -hmm. country and the region. The Lebanese economy specifically, the Middle East in general, MENA region, have passed through very difficult times, crisis, economic crisis, financial crisis, banking crisis, as I previously told you, currency crisis. There's a lot of inflation. The currency today is like $1 is 100,000 Lebanese lira. This is, I don't know if you can imagine the crisis. Hmm. Anyways, yeah. while, while the government is... Uh, facing difficulties to stand on their feet again. The private sector is going back to normal faster than the governmental institutions. The private sector is already uh, making a lot of profits today. They're making income. They're, uh, they're going uh, faster and faster. To, the word is like to get the economy healthy again, standing oh. on the peak. Although there's a lot of, I think, a very big gap between the two, the, the, the two big sects, the rich and okay. the poor. But anyways, this is the benefits of applying ADR because ADR is applied by the private sector. Okay. Although organized by the, some, some governments organize it. Some governments make some specific legislations like Lebanon. We have some legislations regarding arbitration in the uh, procedures for civil law, although we always uh, reject this offer because we would like an, an independent, isolated law regarding arbitration, not okay. part of another law. In this way, there's like controlling it. But, mm. but when you go to arbitration, you have the choice to either use Free arbitration in Arabic we say al tahkim al hur, which is free. Or okay. if you didn't mention it, then the Lebanese uh, civil procedure concerning arbitration arbitration will be implemented on arbitration. This way, you cannot escape <laughs> the control of the okay. government. Okay. Anyways, uh, because private institutions, private individuals. They can be lawyers or not lawyers. They can be the previous judges. Anyway, when they uh, take over the, yeah. the arbitration or any sort of ADR, this will be much faster. This would be uh, uh, affordable for both parties. It depends on the consensus. Okay, so uh, yes. Okay. Is, uh... Thank you so very much. So great insights and um on um the mass um awareness of um utilizing ADR in um, Lebanese. I mm -hmm. wanted to ask about the inclusive um development that you you run. Can you tell me more about it? The Lebanese Assembly for Inclusive Assembly, Development. Yes, yes. What is it all about? So, yeah, well, well, this is uh, more, uh, I won't say political as much as would say civil oh, society. Okay. Mm. We're shifting a little bit away from ADR, but let me tell you uh, briefly <laughs> yeah. about it. Yeah. We started with the uh, Lebanese, uh, with the uh, 
Lebanese Youth Parliament. Okay, so there was there was a lot of uh, alliances, but there was three main big alliances. Uh, the Together We Build Alliance was one of them, which I I was the founder of, and I was coordinating. Yeah. Uh, so what happened is that we won ten seats out of sixty four seats. We made a very big difference. Our principles were neutral, non discriminating non-excluding uh, principles. This is why we launched from the UNESCO, International Center for Human Sciences, who made our first public appearance. Mm -hmm. uh, anyways, <coughs> sorry. Okay. <coughs> sorry. After we finished our political work, we decided to stay together under uh, civil society. Uh, we didn't totally quit our political interference and work and participation, but we wanted something to include all Lebanese, all oh. youth, all people in the region. And okay. when we talk about all Lebanese, this doesn't mean all citizens of the country, but this means all people that are in the country, living, non-living, citizens, non-citizens. This is inclusive. All parties, you're welcome to join us, whether you are, you belong to any of the sects, any of the parties, because we work for an inclusive society, we work for everyone, yeah. we work for the humankind. And uh, this is why this was something to uh, join all of us. This is how we can freely work to serve humankind with no borders and no limits. Yeah, no. and this is, we can consider this a kind of dispute resolution, but this works on a bigger field. A yeah. dispute resolution for society. Yeah. Solving disputes of society. Yeah. Something we have. Yeah. Um, awesome initiative. Well done. Um, so thank you so very much, Omar, for giving us um a very detailed, comprehensive overview of what um ADR, um appropriate dispute resolution or alternative as you call you call it. Um, this resolution is in Lebanon, and also you you touched on Turkey and the the, the Gulf area, you know. So I'm I'm All so <laughs> I, I can see that. Thank you so very much for you know um highlighting all these um differences and similarities of um um utilizing ADR in um, Asia. Yeah, yes. and um, I believe that potential users would embrace um, all the um, benefits um, you've um, listed um, hearing on this show and then um, opt for ADR whenever the need arises. And of course, um, the uh, employer, um, em employers as well would train their human resource management on, you know, um, on the advantages of using ADR as a first option rather than a second option whenever um, disputes or conflict mm -hmm. arises between employees or employers or um, same. All right, thank you so very much for coming on the show. I'm so grateful. All right, bye, take care. Thank you, thank you. Thanks yes. a lot and uh, congratulations on your podcast and I hope you succeed. Uh, you're a very successful person and you'll do a lot of successful things in the future. Inshallah, inshallah. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, this is an Arabic word. Inshallah, inshallah. <laughs> Thank you for hosting Bye. me and congratulations. Keep up the good work. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you. Thank you. Yes.